before I switch over to um, uh, Martin to round off the entire event, um, I'm going to introduce um, John Hall, uh, DFT's Director for Regions, Cities and Devolution. Uh, where's John? Where's he gone? He's there. He's sneaking up behind me. Um, John uh, is going to give his reflections and observations on the day. Um, and, you know, he may even give us a little bit of insight about what he spoke to the Minister about earlier on. So, John, the floor's yours. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for having us all today. Um, it's been a real pleasure to join you uh, at what's been the very first ever Subnational Transport Bodies Conference. Um, for those of you who don't know me yet, so um, uh, as you've just heard, my name is John Hall. I'm the new director, now responsible in DFT uh, for all seven of the Subnational Transport Bodies, um, as well as uh, Transport for London for my sins. Um, and what a time to take on this role. I've been really impressed by all the great work STBs are doing at the moment, um, and heard quite a bit of that today. As you know, STBs were originally set up with two core functions in mind, building a transport strategy for each region and using that transport strategy to give the government advice on prioritising investment. That's STBs bread and butter, and that work is even more important today than it has been before, because that's against the backdrop of increased inflation and economic uncertainty, and it's vital that we continue to get those big investment decisions right. To achieve the objectives the Minister set out for you all earlier, to grow our economy, to level up every part of the country, to decarbonise transport so we can achieve net zero. And as we've heard today, STBs are playing an increasingly important role in all of these different areas. Transport for the North, who are the first ever subnational transport body, charting the path which other STBs have followed. They're currently leading work to help us decarbonise our transport system, developing an electrical vehicle charging infrastructure framework to support local authorities in the planning and development of EV infrastructure. Midlands Connect's role in the Midlands Rail Hub was absolutely pivotal. They took the project from the drawing board to a government commitment. Transport for the South East will shortly be consulting on their strategic investment plan, which will be finalised next year. An ambitious but achievable multimodal investment plan that will be the blueprint for future investment in strategic transport infrastructure for the next 30 years. England's economic heartland are developing a suite of interventions that local authorities can use to decarbonise the transport system. Transport East are tackling the challenge of rural mobility developing a rural mobility centre of excellence to help local authorities across the country. And Western Gateway and Peninsula Transport are undertaking substantial work ahead of the publication of transport strategies for their regions by the end of the financial year, including joint work that's really valuable on rural mobility and alternative fuels. But turning to today, and it's great to talk about the individual achievements of the boards, but what's really been, I think, the great theme for me, I think something which the Minister also reflected on and which he heard during the conversation that he had, um, is that theme of collaboration, um, and I think supportive, collaborative working with government as well. So in previous jobs, when I've come to these sorts of events, it's been a bit of a case of, okay, I'll don my flat jacket, and there's going to be lots of very cross people. Um, I've been really struck by that hasn't been the case today. Um, there's been a real sense of positivity, um, against what's no doubt a sort of challenging backdrop. Um, so that's something which will really stay with me. Um, and I think rather than kind of reflect on any of the individual sessions, because they each had um, their, own, their own benefits, and obviously, you know, you were there too, so you don't need me to recount them for you. Um, but I just want to sort of reflect on sort of some of the words and phrases which have stuck with me today, um, which I'm going to sort of take home with me. Words like outcomes, social value, transport as an enabler, behaviour change, evidence and data, building capacity and capability, transport expertise working together. And of course, the death march, and uh, I must get the quote right, of the status quo, because there was quite an elaborate gag which Glenn put in there, which is, uh, as a music fan, although I'm afraid not a status quo fan, um, I did very much uh, appreciate. Um, but that all comes together, I think, around people and places. Um, and I think that probably reflects a bit my prejudices um, during my previous career. So, um, you know, I'm not a previous civil engineer. I didn't do engineering or anything. I'm a humanities graduate. My background before joining DFT a couple of years ago was in social policy. So working on housing and homelessness at what was MHCLG, um, and at Ministry of Justice on family justice and reducing reoffending. The thing that brings all those things together, and which I'm hugely enthused about in DFT, and about transport, and about the work of everyone here today, is about bringing people and places together. Um, and the more time I spend in transport, the more I realise just how absolutely pivotal that is. So we can talk about technology and train lines and all of that sort of stuff, and that's all really important. But transport is really the kind of circulation system of the country. That really struck me during COVID and the pandemic. Um, it sort of struck me a bit that we haven't talked about that that much today. I wonder if everyone's still processing a bit and it's a bit too fresh. Um, but I was COVID gold director during uh, the, the Christmas before last when the, the transition route to France got shut. 
think about how we get driver testing, all that kind of stuff, and just show just how absolutely pivotal transport is and how keeping all of the systems going during that period was absolutely you know, amazing, really. Um, and I think that also gives a bit of a foundation for everyone to build on. I think just the final point um, is actually a sort of misunderstanding I had during my first couple of months uh, when I joined the department a couple of years ago when I thought um, they're at the S stood for strategic rather than subnational. Um, but I think it could well as stand for strategic too. Um, so I would kind of, you know, embolden you to carry on being subnational strategic transport bodies. Um, and I can't wait to do further work with you over the coming months. Thank you. Thank you very much, John.